All right, guys, today we're going to be reacting to Dual Citizen React to 10 things about Germany, responding to Mr. Lee's classroom. Interesting video. We're going to react to this. Make sure you like to subscribe. This is one of those videos recommended on my Discord. Links in the description. Also, for more um, support, you simply like and subscribe and share our content. We're heading to 10,000 subscribers. And also for donations, you can simply click the super chat. So let's just jump in. I recently found a YouTube short with 10 things you didn't know about Germany and it seemed to me that this was the perfect opportunity for a little fact checking, especially since the person who made the video is a teacher. Ooh. That just makes it double the fun for me. So let's go. It is not considered illegal to try and escape from prison. This is technically true, but at the same time, it's basically impossible to escape without committing some sort of a crime. Digging a tunnel is property damage. Stealing a uniform is theft. Bribing a guard is, well, bribery. So yeah, good luck with that one. There are more castles in Germany than there are McDonald's in the USA. There are currently 13,267 McDonald's restaurants in the US and an estimated 25 Man, thousand castles but let me show you something there are at least two german words that can be translated into english as a castle schloss Damn, and this guy literally went to a castle to just follow with the video man this guy deserve a medal he literally went to a castle just to respond to this guy Wow. Burg. And both of those words can describe a wide variety of different types of building. This is a Schloss. Okay. That, on the other hand, is a Burg, although currently it's being used as a courthouse. And this, believe it or not, is a Schloss. A little more than a big house now used as a museum, but a Schloss, a small Schloss, still counts as one. Mm. This also counts as a schloss. It was originally a hunting lodge that just got bits added to it, and now it's a town hall. And then there is the tiny, ruined Burg that I visited last year, and countless places like it all over Germany. Basically, this fact is true only for a very generous definition of castle. Most of these places are what in Britain would be described as stately homes. Germany's Google Street View is very limited because the government was worried about privacy issues. Not really, no. It was more tabloid scaremongering that terrified the public, and the resulting public opposition eventually proved a bit too much for Google. Apple's new Look Around service hasn't had the same problem. Fanta was invented in Germany during World War II because of the Coca-Cola embargo. Fanta is actually made by Coca-Cola. What happened was that as the war interrupted supplies of ingredients, the company invented Fanta as a way of ensuring that it could continue operating in Germany. But it wasn't the Fanta that we know today. It was in fact made of, um, well, whey and apple pomace. Uh, basically waste yeah. from the manufacture of other products. <laughs> Why do you have to bring that up? Ugh. Product. It was after all wartime. Yeah, the I familiar can... orange flavored Fanta was first made in Italy in 1955. The colors of the flag originated from the flag during the Holy Roman Empire. No, that's more likely a coincidence. It's believed that the colors originated in the uniform of the Lutzel Free Corps in the German campaign of 1813. And those colors were later adopted by revolutionaries fighting for a more modern democratic state. And they were definitely not fighting for the Holy Roman Empire. There are five German exclaves in Belgium and they are divided by a narrow path and this is due to the Treaty of Versailles in 1919. It wasn't the Versailles Treaty directly, but the result of an argument that it caused. The Tim Traveler... Ah oh, man, he, 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 don't, don't you guys think he's being a little bit like, no, 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 it was not a treaty, but it was the, you know, he, he might be going a little bit too deep into this, man. <laughs> like... He just say, no, no, it didn't happen like that. Instead of a two o'clock, right, it was 1.59. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's just going a little bit too much. Don't you guys think? 
I think so. He might be I going made a little bit more. I an video about this a few years ago, so I put a link in the description. Around 2,000 tons of unexploded bombs are found from World War II every year. Well, that sounds very plausible. Virtually every important German city was reduced to piles of rubble. The number of bombs dropped was insane. Statistically speaking, if only a small percentage of them failed to detonate, that has to be tens of thousands of devices. Germany has the largest so, economy in Europe and is... So, is it right or wrong? I, don't, I just don't... ...rank fourth in the world. That depends on how you measure the size of an economy. Germany is fourth in the world by nominal GDP, but if, for example, you adjust the figures for purchasing power parity, Germany drops to fifth place. But in any case, I think we can be very certain that it is well inside the top 10. Most taxis in Germany are Mercedes-Benz. And why not? Mercedes-Benz makes very good cars that can take a lot of punishment and offer a lot in passenger comfort. Going by taxi is quite expensive. I think we can justify a little luxury. They were the first country to practice daylight savings. Oh yes, this one is absolutely true. In order to help with the war effort, both the German Empire and Austria-Hungary introduced daylight savings in 1916. However, the idea was first proposed by a New Zealander and an Englishman. So let's not put all the blame on the Germans. Blame? But who's blaming he I don't think I don't think the guy's flaming here. And there you have it. Ten things about Germany, most of which are commonly misrepresented on the internet, checked and corrected. You're welcome. Oh, I, I think you went a little bit too deep here, man. I I mean he was not totally wrong some of these things. I like he I don't think he was coming from a bad place, don't you guys think? Don't you guys think? I don't think he was coming from a bad place. I think he took a little bit too too much. I would love to see what their opinions have to say about this. Let me see. You're a real German. Correcting other people who say anything about Germany on this internet has become a folk sport, as we call it here. The bomb thing is true. Recently, two bombs were found almost next to each other. Wow. In Hildeberg. In the span of one week, the most surely has been an awesome time if you live in the Backstadt. And as main railway station was always located within the ev evacuation radius, basically all train and tram service has to be canceled. Wow. That's, that's, actually, that's actually kind of crazy. Huh. I don't know. I don't. That top ten, you know, I, there's nothing wrong there. I guess he probably was wrong a couple of things. I guess, but it was not that bad. But let me know what you guys see in the comment section below. I might be, I might be the wrong on this one. But don't you think he was a little bit too deep? I mean, some of this is very broad information, right? It's not, he's not. He's not simply going too deep. The guy that made the video that he's reacting to, I don't think he was really going too deep. You know, inside baseball kind of thing. I don't know. Let me know what you guys say in the comment section below. I would love to hear you guys' opinion.